This is what happens when alcohol meets crazy. Today we're looking at another body cam from Rebecca over here, who is very drunk and decides to randomly fight people at a bar. After this, the police try to apprehend her, but obviously she tries to run, but gets caught anyways. And then the real madness starts. On July 2nd, 2022, police were downtown on foot patrol when they observed a very angry female pacing in front of the bars in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Imagine being described as a very angry female. It's like National Geographic here. She was yelling that she couldn't find her phone and claiming she was going to fight the person that took it. The female was later identified as 18-year-old Rebecca Vallejo. Eventually, a large disturbance broke out of in front of the bars with two males fighting. Officers were trying to break up the fight but Rebecca attempted to join in and go after one of the males. After both males stopped, Rebecca continued to go after one until she fell to the ground. Okay, if you're confused, don't worry. You're not the only one here. This audio literally sounds like a cat fight. If, if you told me this is like humans actually engaging in a fight, I would not believe you. This definitely sounds like some sort of animal species. Now, throughout the video, she gets more and more progressively crazier. Just let me know what you can understand from this next clip. <laughs> Officers attempted to restrain her, but she was resistive and uncooperative. Uncooperative, really. That's like the most charitable word you could possibly use for this. I, I, I'd i preferably go with that shit crazy. I'd literally have better luck talking to a witch from Left 4 Dead 2, and you know those bitches be crazy. Now, believe it or not, this part is still sort of tame for the interaction. Like, later on, she actually turns into a Wendigo from Until Dawn, like, clawing your eyeballs out type of crazy. I just feel bad for the officers because imagine it's like your first day on your job and your first assignment is to restrain a very angry female. Anyways, now the real magic starts when she gets put in a cop car and for some reason, literally every drunk person or like every, I don't know, drunk teenager type of person when put in a car against their will, you know, be being arrested, they turn into like a housefly trapped in a jar. They just start banging their head against the walls like repeatedly and just like kicking and punching even though it's definitely not going to get them anywhere if you know the materials of which cars are actually built <laughs> Stop kicking! <laughs> My friend when I'm beating his ass in Street Fighter. Stop kicking, bro! So obviously they, they do this because they feel like they've been wrongfully arrested. And I don't know what, obviously there's no logic to this. Cause like, even if you, if you kick and you somehow get out of the car, you're handcuffed, meaning you're probably not going to get very far. And even if you, if you let loose of your handcuffs, which you'll actually do later in the video, I don't know why they, they always put the handcuffs really loose on these people to make sure they don't freak out. But it always backfires because they slip out of the handcuffs. Even if you got out of the car, like you're going to get caught again. Like you're drunk. You don't know what the hell you're doing like it's not very hard to find you they know your name they know everything about you now this next part looks like it's straight out of a horror film you can see her like peeking through the rails of the car what's your name I'm on all right so here's what we're gonna do you got your hobble all right what's your name no nah. now nah, what Nothing. Nah. Nothing. That's my name. My parents actually named me Nah. Just as a warning flag to every guy out there. Just Nah. Stay away from me, you know? You are doing you this suspicious. You're fing young as fk. You stupid as fk. You're a female. You slam me in the fk. It's mad. Right. I didn't do shit. You slam me in the fk. It's mad. You stupid as fk. The classic, the El Clasico. I act like an actual beast and then be like, I'm a female, I'm a female. Like, you can't pull that card when you're not acting like the average female. You're acting like an actual maniac, okay? You can only pull that card if you are ladylike in, in a sense, right? And you are not ladylike. As I said, you're closer to a Wendigo than a female. And just saying, you were actually given a ton of courtesy because you're, you're about to slip out of the, uh, the handcuffs. And also, you would have probably been 
slam 10 times harder. I don't know. I feel like in general, you just lose all female privileges the second you start acting like a man and fighting and screaming. Why you got me in handcuffs? You think I'm scared? Nah, bitch. It's a little resist. It's so a little bit because I broke shit. my fucking hand and y'all didn't even give a fuck. UAL, let's the Volker bond to. <laughs> This job, Rebecca, what about it? Cool. What a f***ing matter, I'm going to f***. I can go. Throw this back in my thing. Let me yeah. the window. 212 comm center. Close the window, no, you can see my f***ing face still, bitch. Okay, just calling the cops a little bitch and constantly swearing at them is just a horrible move because you're gonna lose the little courtesy you have left. Now, I don't know if you guys heard that. Maybe I probably censored or something, but she sweared like, I don't know, 30 times in a minute. Go ahead. Ah! Beginning mileage for us, we're up to jail. 30759. If you like just showed me this footage, I would think she's being kidnapped or something. You're being rightfully arrested. Why are you kicking? Why are you running? After this, she pulls the 1000 IQ move of actually escaping from her handcuffs. And I feel like if you do actually manage to escape from your handcuffs, you should still pretend to be handcuffed because that's just going to make the situation 10 times worse for you. The second they see you're out of your handcuffs, they're just going to put it back on and make it even tighter and more uncomfortable for you, probably even hurting your hands. Now, I don't know about you guys, but after that behavior and then escaping from her handcuffs, I feel like it's taser time. Am I wrong? It should be taser time, but unfortunately these cops are a little nicer than I am. She eventually was able to slip out of her handcuffs and began hitting the squad divider. Four three column. You want to Average Taylor Swift fan when Starbucks is closed. No, I'm kidding. A lot of Swifties gonna get mad at that. It's a joke. It's a joke. You can take a joke, right? Anyways, next part over here is amazing, okay? She goes absolutely batshit insane. And somehow, mid freak out, she finds the time to adjust her eyelashes, which is just... <laughs> you cannot make the shit up, man. She's like freaking out. And then she pauses and she's like, I, got, I gotta look good, look good for the mugshot. Yes, let me out! Yeah, she got out of them. She slipped up. She got her left hand out. Sorry guys, just had to take a second to adjust the massive caterpillars on my goddamn face. I didn't do anything wrong, guys. I just, you gotta look pretty for the mugshot. I think that is the number one priority, you know? Gotta make sure I'm glam. Gotta make sure I'm slay. Slay queen. No joke, I would love to do a brain scan at that moment. How do you sw switch between absolutely nut job batshit crazy to, wait a minute. Gotta pose for the camera. Gotta, 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 gotta adjust my eyelashes there. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? It appears there was only one thing more important than freaking out like a lunatic, and that was looking pretty. Okay, she probably didn't know that she was being recorded there. I'm really glad the the camera caught that because that just shows that this is completely out of her own volition. That she is in control of the whole situation. Because in a lot of these videos, people will point out that oh, maybe they were in like a manic state or something. This is definitely the al alcohol that does this. Yeah, alcohol turns people into these nut jobs, right? You know, as somebody commented in one of the previous videos, alcohol only lowers your inhibition to do certain things, right? So it brings out more of your true actual self. And apparently this is a true self. She's actually really manipulative here because she's freaking out, hoping to get some sort of reaction. And then she can calm down at any time. It's like you're choosing to do this. You're not even like in, in, in some sort of state where you can't stop, which is so, so, I don't know. Unladylike for sure. <laughs> that's, that's all I'll say. Unfemale like. I'm not. 
mad. Uh, why do you think I've been touching this? I'm mad. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay? I'm a good person. You'll see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing it, guys. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. You'll see it, guys. When will I see it? After Christ is resurrected for the 69th time? Dude, I swear to God, this is just a general rule for, like, everybody. If somebody says, I'm a good person, they are anything but a good person. No good person will ever say, I'm a good person. Please, shut the hell up. Oh, my God. Now, probably the biggest spoiler of the video so far, guys, she's actually drunk. They did a test, and she's drunk. Drunk. Wow. Rebecca emitted an odor of intoxicants and submitted to a preliminary breath test, which resulted in 0.133. Rebecca was charged with felony battery threat to an officer, misdemeanor counts of resisting and disorderly conduct, and she was released on a $1,000 signature bond. She also received a citation for underage consumption of alcohol, second offense. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see the caterpillar lashes there. Oh my God. Turns out adjusting my lashes mid freak out didn't pay off. To be fair, she looks like a normal human being there. Okay, so I'm glad you didn't get your mugshot taken while you were in that state. It's like the avatar state. You can just go in and out willy nilly, apparently. Truly a queen, in my opinion, just another day for a Scorpio. Now click this video or she spawns in your room tonight. Bye bye.